The first person I want to minister is Es Marie van Amerwe. Okay, so Es Marie, uh, as I as I pray for you, the Lord is showing to me that your heart is full of kindness, that you have a lot to give, and that the 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 river of God is flowing out of you. But then I see the Lord is also adding to your kindness, also the wisdom of God. And I felt what God is saying to me, He's adding the wisdom, He's adding the judgment of God so that you can judge. Yes, I should get involved in this. No, I should not get involved in this. Yes, this is an opportunity that God has given to me. This is not an opportunity. And I just felt that the Lord says, uh, it's not necessary to say yes to everything. Just say, I'm a servant of God, and wherever God says I can go and where I can get involved, I'll get involved. But the rest, I'll just say no to it. And I, and I saw how you get involved in lots of stuff, and how the Lord kind of just pulls you back a little bit. And He says, only here and there, that's, that's your two spots. And then the rest you don't have to worry about. Because remember, God's got lots of children, lots of people can do lots of things in the kingdom. You don't have to do everything. Just do that one or two things that God says you need to do, and then uh, you'll see you'll be more at rest, less stressed, and you will walk in the wisdom of God. God bless you. Amen. Next word is for Dawn. Dawn, um, I see you running, and then there's holes, and, and there's water streaming out of the holes, and you run, and you put a lid on it, and then the next one, then you put a lid on it, and you are just going, 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 and you are so tired, and God says you need to stop. You need to stop. You need to get up. And you need to allow him to fix the holes. You need to allow him to take care of it. You must focus on one problem, one thing, and get the solution for it and get it solved and continue to the next one. Because if you want to um, work with too many issues, too many problems, too many things, you're going to get tired and you're going to give a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit there. So allow God to work so long with the other issues that you can't deal with right now because sometimes emotionally you are not strong enough. Sometimes you do not, you are not equipped enough to handle these things. God will equip you. He will give you the tools. He will give you the strength in, uh, you know, to, to handle all of these things. So give it to God and just handle and tackle a few uh, or one at a time so everything can be sorted out you blessed thank you don't please leave us a comment the next word is for if you should go. um so i see you writing down um god's words and i it's kind of like like it's being written down in stone and i feel like those are god's promises and i feel like god is saying you need to meditate on those promises and then god shows me how from his words it's like kind of how it just revives your heart um and i see how you you go out and you you minister to people and it's kind of like you're so nurturing and you're you're just yeah you're ministering to people but i see how you sit after that how you need to sit in god's presence and how you need to be nurtured by him and be filled by him and then god shows me also like purifying and refining and how it's kind of like it's a bit like this but god shows me that the the oil um, that comes out of that will be so beautiful and such a, a sweet fragrance god bless you Amen. If it's you, please leave us a comment. Next word is for Mariana. The Lord shows me you, you squeezing this cloth, like this cloth was wet and you're trying to squeeze all of the water out of it. And I feel like this cloth, cloth is representing you. You're trying to squeeze all of the world out of you before you go and sit in the sun, before you go and sit in the presence of the Lord. Because I, I, I feel this, that you, that you feel that you can't go there yet until you are completely clean. And I hear the Lord saying that that is, that is His job. Come into my presence. If you can, you can squeeze out a little bit of the, uh, the water yourself, but you can't do it um, fully the way He can. The Lord is calling you to come and sit in His light and in, and in, his, in his warmth. And He shows me how He will just evaporate it, because that's what the sun does. When you, when you bring a wet cloth there, it just ev evapor evaporates. evaporates all of the water, all of the flesh that's, uh, that's, that's, that's inside of you. The Lord says, come and sit in my light. Be blessed. Awesome. Hey, right, awesome. Mariana, uh, God bless you. Uh, family, uh, we're going to minister tonight uh, to 40 people. And then all the names, that's more than 40 people. I'm going to put it on a list. And through the week, I'm going to post videos as we minister to those people. Uh, so uh, last Friday night, there were 65 people. We ministered to 40. And then we added, uh, we ministered already to the other 25 people that also put their names on the list. And our, those videos are already scheduled. They'll come out. And so in the same way, if you tonight put your name on a list and you are past that 40 uh, names, then we will minister to you. Uh, still, I'll probably minister tomorrow to you and we'll post the videos. So you don't have to fear. We will minister to you. It's our heart. We love to minister to each one of you. 
So um, I'm, I'm kind of just taking the names as they come. So the next person is Elijah, uh, and it was Renata that, that put this name uh, on the list. Okay, uh, so Elijah, uh, what the Lord is showing to me is how he is putting his Holy Spirit anointing afresh on your life. And the Lord says, I'm not putting my anointing on you just to heal and restore you. But I have a call upon you. I'm making you uh, a, a voice. Uh, I'm giving you a ministry of speaking, uh, of declaring, of praying, of speaking to others, of being an influencer. Uh, and the Lord says, I'm just loosening you off, uh, from the entanglements of your past. I'm making you completely free. And the Lord says, you are going to run for me and you're going to accomplish um, um Big exploits for me. I also felt that the Lord says, uh, with the ministry breakthrough, there's going to be financial breakthrough in your life and even family um, restoration that God has given to you. God bless you, Elijah. I mean, next word is for Gloria. Gloria, I see you standing on top of, on, on this mountaintop and you're looking and it's something that, that was accomplished and you, you, you have this feeling of contentment, you have this feeling of fullness and you, there's just so much joy flowing over you and, and God just stands, it's, it's like almost like God is standing next to you and he puts his hand on your shoulder and he says, well done, well done, because you pushed through. So I don't know what you're going through at the moment, but I just feel that God says, don't give up and, and because the breakthrough is going to Come and you will have a relief and there will be a breakthrough and there will be just a joy overflowing joy overflowing just hold on to god be blessed thank you gloria please give us a comment the next word is for yanathana um so i see how god is like it's like he's placing a label above your forehead that says truth um and i also see priestly anointing and then god shows me how um you just kind of like operating in the gift of healing and then God shows me how when you minister and when you do things how you really lean on him for strength and how you minister with the Holy Spirit and how um, yeah I really see how you you hook in with the Lord and you really just go with him wherever you go and um, I see how God is making you sensitive and he's giving you discernment to know when to go when not to go and um, also how to approach um, certain situations maybe like in ministry or just like in everyday life um, where there's conflict I see how um, you turn to God and how in that moment God gives you wisdom on how to handle that certain situation and I feel like God is just reminding you that when um, tough situations come that he is with you um, and I, I really feel like God is touching your mouth um, to speak uh, even in hard situations God bless you. Amen this next word is for Darshan. Darshan the Lord shows me he says paint the walls with my word and I and in and those walls are representing you like you are the temple of the Holy Spirit and I just see how the word of the Lord is just written on you th and how and how you don't don't let don't 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 fall into you don't fall into a category you fall into like a follower you're not somebody who is there just to be in that little box and help and build this this one thing i just see the lord is saying that you are a big part in the body of christ and you are there to build his kingdom it's not just one thing but it's it's many things that the lord is going to place you in to help grow and and support and serve there so uh don't be don't be afraid when the lord is calling you to to a different place to to a new place be blessed hey dashan uh, god bless you uh dashan i think also during the week uh, we had your name on one of the lists and we ministered to you so uh, just check out uh, i'm sure you'll see your your minute your name on the one the list uh, in the future. Okay, so the next word is for Wayne. Uh, Wayne, the Lord shows me an end of a season and then he showed me Mary in the Bible, how she, the Lord overshadowed her. And she became pregnant and conceived to have the son Jesus. And what the Lord showed me, that the Lord is overshadowing you, that he's putting his blueprints, his plans and his purposes into your life. And the Lord says that something new is going to be birthed out of your life. A new vision a new purpose, a new move of God is going to come out of you. And you're going to see you know, something small growing in 2025 that's really going to change your life, but also the lives of many others. God bless you. I mean, next word is for Christine. Christine, I see you standing, um, or I see this picture of a, of a mommy hen, and she lifts up her feathers, and all the baby chicks come underneath her feathers, and she just protects them. And I see how, how God is calling you into children ministry, or, 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 or having a, a children's school, or an aftercare, or something to do with children, because you, you, you've got such a, such a gentleness um, on you, and, and you speak with gentleness and kindness, and lots of children don't 
don't get the love that they should from the, at their houses and you are able to give that to them you are able to teach them what love is and what real love is um, um, from a mother so I really feel that that you need to um, work with children so that you can show them what love is and so that they can be healed through that because lots of children have deep inner wounds and you will be able to help them with what God gives you to, to get healed in Jesus name bless you Thank you, Christine. Please give us a comment. The next word is for Barnabas. Barnabas, I see you um, riding victory, and I see how as you, it's like you're riding a white horse with all this armor, and I see how the glory of God just follows you as you ride um, this white horse. And then God shows me how I just see anointing on your hands, and um, it's kind of like you're like, I see like painting anointing, like you painting with anointing oil. Um, and then God shows me how you his presence is coming on you and how you really walk in authority and i see how um you pray just everywhere you are in your house and how you you plead the blood of jesus and how you really just go to war with the lord um and i feel like god is saying that he's promising you victory and remember that you don't fight um for victory but from victory god bless you Yes, amen, uh, Barnabas. Please leave us comment. The next word is Kamala. The Lord shows me that you are in the um, the planting process. I see how you are being planted somewhere, and and it's a lot of a lot of pressure. There's like new soil surrounding you. It's a new environment, and I hear the Lord saying that that you are first planted in me. And, and the Lord says that when you are seated in Him and when your roots are first in Him, that you will have peace. So I hear the Lord is just saying, come back to that, to that knowing that you, are, that you are in Him. And when you are in Him and, and, and when you know that He is planting you somewhere, there will only come good fruit from that. Be blessed. Hey, uh, come on. Uh, God bless you. Hey family, it's awesome to have all of you here. Uh, you can write your name in the comments. I see we already reached 40 names. So all the names uh, that's posted on the comments, I'm going to put them in a list and I'll uh, tomorrow uh, sit probably with Kimi or with Ian and we will minister to each one uh, of you on the list. Okay, so the next person I want to minister to is Joel. Uh, so Joel, what the Lord is, sh is showing to me is that He's taking you out of the comfort zone. The Lord is putting His fire upon you. And the Lord says, stir up the gift of God that's in you. And as you stir it up, your capacity increases. And the Lord says, you're going to minister to more people with more anointing. And you're going to get out of the way. And you're going to see the flood of God's power flow through your life. And the Lord says, uh, as your life um, come into alignment with that river of power that He has in your life, your life becomes a magnifying glass that magnifies God's power and His glory and who He is, is as a person. And more and more people will say, wow, well, uh, the Lord is in our midst. The Lord is ministering through us. And just like the people rejoice and say, uh, how great is God when Jesus did those miracles. In the same way, people will magnify the Lord. And I just see the power of God flowing through you. God bless you, Joel. I mean, next word is for Ashley. Ashley, I see um, that, uh, 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 yeah, I just need to speak a, a fresh anointing of the Holy Spirit over your life. And then with this, I see how God gives you new shoes, new shoes of, of authority, new shoes of, of to move for Him um, through this new fire of the Holy Spirit. Um, God wants to, 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 to show things differently to you, and He wants to ignite His fire inside of you so that you can hear more spiritually and so that you can see more spiritually. I also see that you need to write down whatever God is showing you through this new walk, through this new journey that God is going to give to you. But you need to be willing to put those shoes on and you need to be willing to stand in those, in the new authority of the shoes that God is going to give to you. Be blessed. Thank you, Ashley. The next word is for Daniel. Um, Daniel, I see how God is giving you the ability to rest in the midst of a storm. And then I see how um, you walk and how you pick up ground. And I feel like other people have looked at this ground and they haven't seen like the worth and potential in this ground. But I see how it's like um, God is placing or allowing you to see this ground from His perspective. And I see how you get passionate about this ground and how you start speaking the words of God um, and the promises of God over this um, piece of ground. And I see how um, because of how you steward this ground, how it just it becomes so fruitful. And I feel like sometimes others will doubt. Um, but I feel like God is saying um, just remember his promises meditate on his promises and um 
fix your mind on the things above, um, fix your mind on heavenly things. Um, and I see how it's kind of like you go for a walk and how you just memorize scripture as you go for this walk and as you spend time with God, like out in nature. And um, yeah, I just feel like as you go out through everyday life, I see how you just, you instead of like thinking on about anything else, how you just, you, you meditate on scripture as you go and you fill your mind with scripture. God bless you. Amen, Daniel. Please leave us a comment. Thanks for this with Petronella. Petronella, the Lord shows me how he's going to give you like a skip in your step. The Lord shows me how he's, he's asking you to, to dance and, and to worship him fully. I let you see how like you are, you are sitting in your chair and then your feet just start, they just start moving and bouncing. And then you're like, no, I can't stay in this chair anymore. I need to start, I need to start dancing and praising. And I see that, that anointing of, of, of David that, that, that's, that's coming on you just to, to worship the Lord fully. It's like, because when, when, when you behold His face, that's, and that's the only thing that you can see, that's the only thing you care about. He's the, he's the only approval that we need, and He will assign like people to say, hey, go tell Petronella that this is right, because this is, this is my will. And I hear the Lord saying, come back into, into His will of, of worship for your life. Be blessed. Hey, Petronella, uh, God bless you. Okay, so the next word is for Louise. Louise, I felt that the Lord says that you've pre been producing at a threefold, and the Lord is going to uh, um, uh, bring you up to the sixtyfold level of production. And I felt that the Lord said He wants you to rise up your frequency, uh, rise up your your metabolism, uh, get busy, get active. And I felt even in the physical that the Lord is challenging you to start to do high impact exercises and things like that to just get your heart right up uh, and to, um, you know, just get busy. Uh, and the Lord says you're going to be double as productive as you has been. And He's just going to help you to, to get focused and order the, the thoughts in your mind. Uh, and he's going to take that depression that the enemy is putting on you away. And he's going to give you a clear vision for your future. God bless you, Louise. I mean, next word is for Christina. Christina, um, I see you wearing this dress and the wind blows it and it blows to the one side and actually stays there. And you look down at your dress and it's so weird because your dress stays on the one side. And God says um, that he's going to work differently with you and that you need to allow the Holy Spirit to just flow over you. You need to allow the Holy Spirit to just work with you so that you know we we don't understand we don't have to understand what the holy spirit does all we need to be is obedient and all we need to do is be willing and surrender totally to him and then i see how how, how your, your dress just stays like that and then you walk and then there's so much that comes through that by just accepting what the Holy Spirit is doing in your life and through your life because God is going to do different things in your life and that is how you're going to reach more people because there's going to be something different about you and that's how God created you with something different, with something um, that you carry, Christina. So, so just, you know, embrace that and live in that because the Holy Spirit is going to move in beautiful ways with you. Be blessed. Thank you, Christina. Please give us a comment. The next word is for Kushi Kushi. I see... Um, kind of like sharks coming at you but I see how the Lord just like very quickly comes between um, you and the shark and I see him saying mine um, I see how God is protective of you and how he's hiding you under his wing so that the enemy doesn't even see you um, and then I see how um, a wine press and I feel like sometimes we go through hard seasons, but I feel like God is saying, don't be discouraged by the hard seasons because the, the beautiful wine, the, the beauty that will come out of those seasons, um, yeah, it will really be for His glory. And um, I feel like right now, sometimes you may not understand something, but when you look back one day, you'll understand, you'll see the hand of God and you'll see why He did certain things, why He closed cer certain doors. Um, yeah, God bless you. Amen, Kushi, please leave us comments and please for Phineas. Phineas, the Lord shows me how, how you must learn to eat of His Word and, and, and feel the fullness that the Word gives you. And, I, and, I, and that's like not just passively reading the Word. I see the Lord is asking for a hunger of revelation from you because He wants to give it to you. He wants to, he wants to, 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 to serve it to you that you, can, that you can eat this new revelation that the Lord wants to give to you. Um, and the Lord also shows me how 
um, from that eating of the word that you need to go into a time of just fasting and, and the Lord will tell you how long you need to do it. Maybe it's just like a day or, or two days, but the Lord is saying, learn to, to deny the flesh, deny the world, deny what the world says you need to live and eat of, of my word and, and truly live. Be blessed. Hey, uh, Finnis, uh, God bless you. Uh, his hand is upon you. And Finnis, I really felt that the Lord is just saying this is a new day. And even in the area of finances, the Lord says, do not worry about the past. This is a new day. This is a new page. And I'm going to help you. And I'm going to bless you. And you're going to build something amazing. Hey, God bless you, Finnis. Okay, Galina. Uh, Galina, I really felt that the Lord is just cleaning you on the inside and out. And I see how His blood comes and wash you. How you go through repentance. How the Lord just helps you to get even those thoughts in your mind that says you that you cannot do it. The Lord is washing those clean that you can stand before Him uh, positive and full of vision and full of focus. Uh, and then I see how the Lord is putting his, the fire of the Holy Spirit uh, upon your life so that you are uh, full of passion for Jesus uh, and you trust Him and you see how the Lord uh, supernaturally walk with you and help you and supply in every one of your needs. God bless you, Galina. Amy, next word is for Joanna. Joanna, I, I see you like a little baby standing in God's arms and he is just um, uh, uh, swaying. Swaying. swaying you around and there's so much comfort and he sings to you and you are just, you, you are, you, you feel happy and you feel secure and you feel safe and God wants you just you wants to so that you can know that he is your safe place he is your comfort and that you do not have to be afraid and that he will carry you he will carry you and and it's in this place where he just holds you where everything that is that is the world placed on you every label that the world placed on you is just fallen off and then you are made new again it's almost like a new birth where god says i'm making you new i'm giving you new things and i'm giving you a new identity in who i am in you be blessed next word is for renee renee i just see you um dressed in like a, a wedding dress and um i see how you're like this little girl and how jesus is placing this crown on you and how you are just filled with like childlike joy and um i see how yeah, it's kind of like you go on an adventure with the Lord and how you just have a picnic with Him. And um, I want to encourage you to maybe just go in the physical and have a picnic with the Lord. Like go read your Bible somewhere um, out and just uh, enjoy uh, quality time with the Lord. And um, yeah, I just feel like it's a reminder that Jesus is your friend and that um, I see how as you go out in public, how... Jesus is with you wherever you go and how um, people really encounter Jesus through you um, and I see how they encounter like the, the gentleness and kindness of Jesus through you and I see how people that have had like a, a misperception of who the Lord is I see how because you know him because you spend so much time with him um, how you reveal the truth of who he is and how um, it's kind of like through your relationship with the Lord other people's hearts will be mended God bless you Amen. Renee, please leave us a comment. This next word is for Jane. Jane, the Lord shows me how you are a be, how you are being challenged in with 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 dreams and and maybe some 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 words. And I hear the Lord saying that that you you can feel that He has given you a spirit of discernment, and you can feel when I have sent you something, and when the enemy has sent something to distract you. The Lord says He wants you to take communion. He wants you to 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 wash your mind clean with the blood of Jesus and receive his words and his visions and his dreams that he wants you to dream because I, I hear the Lord saying that in all of the day and while you are sleeping is a, is still a time where I can be with you where I can reveal things to you and that is a sacred time for the Lord that he he wants to be a part of that time be blessed Hey, Jane, uh, God bless you. Uh, Jane, I really feel there's a joy that God has given to you, a joy and an expectation and a faith for the future, uh, and you not going to be pushed over by the enemy or by negativity, but you're going to stand and you're going to be strong and you are a light that shines, just like a lighthouse that are built on a rock, so you are built on Jesus. God bless you, Jane. Uh, so the next word is for Anneli. Right, Anneli, uh, the Lord really... Uh, showed me a forest and how you are a tree in a forest and how all the trees in a forest depends on each other 
with the wind and with the sun and the space where they grow their root system and the water and all of it. And I felt that the Lord says that He has planted you in the body of Christ among people that love you, that care for you, and you are dependent on them and they are dependent on you. And you provide uh, protection for them and they provide protection and a covering for you again in your life. And so the Lord says what the enemy wants to do, he wants to isolate you and even what's good going on here up, up in your mind he wants you to to keep it separate but the lord says be open be transparent let people speak into your life tell them what's going on in your life and so just get everything clean and out in the open and then you're going to see how the lord is going to complete a wonderful work of restoration in your life and how he's going to also open up doors for you how you can function in the body of christ and you can fulfill the gifts and the talents and the call that god has placed upon your life God bless you, Anneli. I mean, next word is for Shamayne. Shamayne, I see um, how God provides for you, but but it, it's uh, it's abundantly where He provides for you abundantly, and you you are just overwhelmed and and so um, you know taken away by by this provision that He is giving to you. So um, and God says when He provides for you, it's almost like He, he wants you to put a little bit away, so that through seasons of of you know a little bit of um, less provision that you'll be able to use that so god wants you to go into a, you want you to have a savings plan and um, saved up so more bun of more provision you save up a little bit so that you do not go into anxiety and stress um when when the times is where where your income of your provision is a little bit low god sees you and he hears your prayers and and he wants you not to go into that stress mode because when you go into that stress mode um it's almost like you use focus so stay focused on god who he is and have faith in God. Be blessed. Thank you, Shemaine. Please leave us a comment. The next word is for Elaine. Elaine, I see you with like a bunch of like pot plants and how you're watering um, the pot plants and I, it's kind of like you're just checking through the leaves, making sure everything is fine and I see how you pour so much love into these plants and I see how you speak um, kind words and uh, words of life over these plants and I see how you really are trusting for these plants to grow um, and I see how it's kind of like they, the Lord is also helping protect the plants like when a storm comes I see how the Lord is like putting a shield over the plants and protecting um, the plants in the, the scripture where it says um, where he is a wall of fire around us um, just came into my mind and um, I see how God is saying that he has engraved you on the palm of his hand and he will never forget you and I feel like God is drawing you deeper and God shows me healing honey and I see how God is um, letting you taste um, of his honey and taste um, of his goodness so that you can see that he is good and God shows me that his goodness will remove any fear that there is in your heart um, and I see how you're kind of it's like he's putting a cocoon putting you in a cocoon and now he's just nurturing in you in his love and how you are being made perfect in his love and how fear is being removed by his perfect love. God bless you. Amen. Uh, Elaine, please leave us a comment. This next word is for Tasiane. The Lord, you will see when the Lord has opened up the door and, and the Lord shows me how you, are, you, you really have eyes that, that see, eyes to see and, and you are looking. Lord, where is this open door? And the Lord will reveal that to you. But I, I hear you must say, wait, don't go, don't go looking for the right door because our, our plans are never the right plans. And and I hear the Lord saying, just just wait, I will bring the door. And and I will open the door and I will lead you through the door. He is a, he is a, he is our father, he is our king, and he has a plan for us, and he wants us to prosper because he has a plan, and we are needed in his plan. You are needed in his plan. So let him open the door, let him take you into that into that new season and holding his hand. Be blessed. Hello, uh, Tasha and I, uh, God bless you. Uh, he loves you very, very much. Uh, Tasha and I, I just see a floor where you dance with God and you just have intimacy with you uh, and you become one with Him. All right, God bless you, Tasha and I. Uh, so family, as you can see on the left, uh, here's a list of the up to number 40 of all the people we're ministering to today. So I know there is a lot of names of people that still put their names on the list that would like to receive ministry. And I love and I appreciate each one of you. And so that's why we're going to record a separate video and minister to you um, probably tomorrow or in this week. So just 
write your name there and do not fear we will minister to you uh, so the, the next person I want to minister to is Amanda Kutzer okay so Amanda I see a, a wall that the enemy has built in your family uh, and that wall has a goal to stop the communication and to stop the love and the unity that there is but the Lord shows me how he supernaturally just penetrates that wall and he reestablishes communication and he brings unity uh, and he shatters the the weapons that the enemy has formed and so the lord says keep praying keep trusting in me keep declaring the word of god don't get discouraged because the lord says i will give you the breakthrough but remember every person has a free will and so therefore you can pray for them you can bless them you can be kind to them but they have to out of their own free will make a decision to say yes or no i want to i don't want to and just keep on trusting god god has a way of working with people to help them to go in the right direction because god loves every person and he wants them to fulfill their purpose god bless you I mean, next word is for John. John, I see that you, 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 you have roots, but it's not growing deeper because the foundation, there's not, there's not, it's not a, it's not a good foundation. So I don't know if, if God is saying that you need to move to a different ministry or you need to move to a, a different, um, I don't know, to a different area or, but wherever there's a place in your life that is, is you are not growing spiritually, there's a blockage, but it, the blockage is not coming from you. The blockage is coming from um, leadership and, and um, yeah, I don't know. So, so you need to go ask the Lord where and what so that you can see, because I really, the Lord shows me that you, you want your roots to go deeper, deeper, because you've got this desire to know more. You've got this desire to, to really go further, but it's almost like there's just a blockage. So um, just ask the Lord because you were called for ministry. Be blessed. The next word is for Zina. Um, Zina, I see how, I feel like you're really going to have an influence. I see how you, you just press into the Lord and how He fills you with such, such a passion and a passionate love for Him. And I see how you're, you're so filled with Him that you overflow, you bubble Jesus wherever you go. And it's so pure. It's not a, something that you have to force. You are just so full of Jesus that you can't contain it. Um, and I see how you place like small fires in like, I see like younger people, how you place small fires in their hearts and how they are just so inspired by you. Um, and I see how you kind of just direct their eyes towards the Lord. Um, and I see how there's such a great reward waiting for you. Um, but I also feel like God, He sees you in a way, in a good way that you can never even imagine. I feel like God is, you don't see yourself the way God sees you. And I feel like God wants you to press into His heart so that you see yourself the way He sees you. So that you see your worth the way He sees you. God bless you. Amen. Zina, please give us a comment. Thanks for this for Jeanette. Jeanette, the Lord shows me, the, the Lord says that, that don't be don't be afraid of like your, your your sound. I hear the Lord saying, like, make 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 a sound. He loves he loves your sound. I hear I see how you are just worshiping it and you're making music and you are singing to the Lord and the Lord says, I want to hear it. It doesn't matter who who else wants to hear it, I want to hear it. I this is a sweet fragrance unto me. This is glorifying me. It doesn't need to be heard by uh, by all of these other people unless the Lord calls you to that. But right now, this is this is time for for you to to worship Him. I, I see how like your offering is uh, uh, offering how your how your song is an offering to the Lord, and and He and He loves 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 to hear it. Don't stop. Be blessed. Hey, awesome, uh, Jeanette. God bless you. So the next word is for Dominic. Uh, so Dominique, the Lord is showing to me how He is calling you to have God as your first love. And He wants you to put the kingdom of God first. So in your life, you have a lot of giftings. You're very talented, uh, tal uh, intelligent, you're talented, you uh, um, are a real problem solver, and you can technically figure things out. And so it's easy for you to rely on yourself. But God says, with all the giftings and talents that you have, He will open up doors for you but he wants you to seek him and to put his kingdom first in your life and to really study the word get the word of God in you to change your mind so you can be full of God's word and the treasures uh, of what he says and I felt that the Lord says as you are faithful to seek him you will be faithful to open up doors so that you can walk in the purpose 
and in the blessing of God. And I feel the Lord is going to give you a good job. He's going to give you a family. But you have to seek Him first. God bless you. Hey, my next word is for Ilian. Um, Ilian, I see how God gives you this small little um, motorbike. And you look at this motorbike and you think, how on earth am I going to move around with this thing? And as you get on it, you move very fast. You move faster than all the other bigger motorbikes and everything. And you you, you actually see what this is good. So God wants you to focus on the small things that He gives to you. He wants you to focus on the small things around you because these small things help you to excel. It helps you going to the next level because I see God wants to um, um, excel you in, in in business, excel you in your career, excel you in your studies, um, but you need to hold on to the small things so that in order to get to the bigger things, be blessed. Thank you, Ilian. Please leave us a comment. The next word is for Nadine, 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 um, God shows me how he's um, dressing you in like this white linen and I feel like I see how the Holy Spirit just comes upon you and I feel like you're anointed to do such great things and I see how you you really live a surrendered life and I see how whatever you do you don't do it for your name to be glorified but you do it for the Lord's name to be glorified I see how in everything you do you, you seek the Lord I see how there's like a, a hunger and a thirst and it's like you're just going Lord I need more of you I need more of you and I um, I just feel like I pray that I that that it, I pray protection over that that nothing will steal that hunger and um, I see how people around you they are hungering for the things of this world they're pursuing the things of this world but I see how you lock eyes with Jesus and you're saying faithful to the end faithful to the end um, and I see how God is strengthening you to be faithful um, until the end and I really feel like you are called to be set apart you are called to be different and look different so don't be discouraged if you aren't accepted um, by people around you um, and I, I, I also see that God is He'll send you your people. He'll send you your group um, in His timing. And sometimes people will leave and He'll bring someone new. I mean, I see how you just need to hold people with open hands um, and just trust God and trust His heart um, for you. God bless you. Uh, Amen, Naden. Please leave us a comment. This next one is for um, Jobin. Jobin, the Lord shows me you coming to the Father and you ask Him, Lord, I need your help. I need healing. And the Lord shows me how He places you on on this 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 table, and uh, and He's just doing like surgery on you. And He is He is healing what is broken. He is mending what was what was um what needed to be mended. He the Lord shows me how He just He's just covering you a new covering of 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 of, of cleanse cleansingness and 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 just purity the lord is purifying you i even see how how he's just knitting you even more like we were knitted in in our mother's womb and the lord is saying even more even more now i'm i'm still i'm still helping you and i'm still building you and i'm still there to 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 heal you the Lord says, come to me and I and I will heal you. Be blessed. Hey, uh, Jobin, uh, God bless you. Uh, so, uh, family, just for each one on you, uh, um, I'm taking each one of the names after uh, these names that's on the list. And we're going to minister uh, to each one on a separate video. So, if you would like to receive ministry, just write your name in the comments and we will minister uh, to you. Uh, so, next word is for Martin. Uh, Martin, uh, the Lord shows me a very simple business strategy that's full of the wisdom of God but it's simple it's not difficult to implement uh, it's clear so it's very measurable and I felt that the Lord is releasing that strategy to you it's like the family recipe and I felt that God is giving that to you because he wants to bless you and he wants to bless your children and even those people that are around you and the Lord says you're not gonna accomplish that by yourself but you're gonna poop friends and family members in and all of them going to be part of the success that the Lord is going to bring to you. God bless you. And my next one is for Denica. Um, I feel that, that God says you need to like blossom like a rose. Where, where I Immediately when I read your name, I saw flowers, lots of flowers around you. And there's such a beautiful fragrance. And But He wants you to blossom like a rose. He wants you to, to, to really um, uh, 
put that on you because it's almost like there is a, a little bit of um, uh, things that that's taking your 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 blossom away, that's taking your 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 rose away. So God wants you to step back into that. He wants you to almost, and I see how you jump in this beautiful clear water, and you jump in there, and you wash yourself, and you just you go and refresh yourself with the Word of God, and you worship. And as you get out, I just see all these flowers just on top of you. So God really wants you to go through a season of refreshing and and restoration, where He wants to build you up so that you can become the Denica, Denica that you, you have been called to be. Be blessed. The next word is for Aston. Um, I saw an axe when I looked at your name and I see how God is giving you um, discernment and I see how I feel like there's a shift in the atmosphere um, when you enter a room and I feel like God um, He's busy with such a great and beautiful work in your heart and I see how He's kind of moving things here and moving things there and he's kind of like he's just cleaning some of the rooms um in your heart because i feel like he's making space for something new and something greater and god shows me how he's calling you deeper and i see how god is just speaking such words of affirmation over you um and i really feel like you're such a um a valuable weapon to the lord and your value increases the more you lean into the holy spirit um and i i feel like you'll what God does through you will be a reminder that this life is for Jesus. Um, it's not to make ourselves known, it's to make Jesus known. God bless you. Um, Amen. This next word is for Ricardo. The Lord shows me like the sand that's like in between your hands and, and, and like it's on like your feet and you're carrying it with you. And, and, and I see how the Lord is saying that, that there's like a, a sifting happening. And the Lord shows me how he is giving you the tool to, to take this sand in front of you that most people say, well, this is nothing. There's, there's no gold here. We've, we've dug as far down and there's this huge pile of sand and there's nothing in the ground. And I hear the Lord saying that, that there's something else here that I want you to just to, to sift through and, and find, find the gold, find the diamond. And, 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 and you need his help because he gives you the tools. The Lord chose me. I was going to give you the, the, the mind of Christ to see, okay, this, I, I need this. I need the water and I need to go like this or all of the, all, the Lord will give you all of the steps, but step into that and really receive the mind of Christ. Be blessed. Hey, awesome. Uh, God bless you. Okay. So, and okay. Uh, the Lord is showing to me um, that you are on ice. And it's like a lot of snow, but the snow is very soft and it's dangerous. And now the Lord gives you snowshoes and you walk over the snow and you get to a place where it's hot and where there's rocks and where you can stand on that. And I felt that the Lord says, even where you have made in the past wrong decisions and you find yourself in some areas in the wrong place, the Lord will be faithful to help you, to guide you, to get you out of that position of trouble. And He's going to bring you to a place where you're going to be steadfast, where you're going to be standing on a rock. The Word uh, teaches us that when we hear the Word of God and we obey it, then we are like someone that builds our house on a rock. And I felt that the Lord says, you are going to build your house on the rock in, in obedience to God and hearing His Word. And, and, and walking with him and him blessing you and I felt that the Lord says uh, this season is going to come to the, to an end you don't have to fear there is going to be a new day the blessing of God is going to be there and the Lord has a wonderful plan of uh, for you and he's holding your hand and you don't have to to fear and you can you can trust in God and just like Peter walked on the water and he, when he started to sing Jesus grabbed his hand and pulled him out so in the same way the Lord says I'm holding your hand you do not have to fear all right God bless you and okay Family, it was a big pleasure for all of us to minister to you today. And uh, I see there's a lot of other people that put their names also on the list. So I'll add those names and then we'll make a separate video and minister to you. So you can just look on the Unity channel and you'll see it there. So family, we are going to be back again Friday evening, half past seven South African time. So for Kerry there in New York, I think it's 12.30 p.m. in New York. Uh, on Friday and so that's the time we're gonna be back again. We love and appreciate each one of you. Have a fantastic week. God bless you Thank you for joining unity with heaven Remember to subscribe like comment and join our newsletter if you want to support us Please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly Remember you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you.
If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.